Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Okay, welcome. Thanks, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, people. Today is our last day together. Hmm. Well, let's get started with the attendance. So please respond when you hear your name, okay? Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present, Mr. Okay, welcome. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present, teacher. Welcome. Andrea Isabel Siu. 
Brenda Claribel Mejia. It's me, present. Okay. Cecilio Antonio Cortés. Diana Patricia, no, sorry. Claudia Maria Gómez. Present teacher. Okay. Diana Patricia Orantes. Present. Okay. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo. Here. Juan Antonio Bran. Present teacher. Okay. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present teacher. Okay. Present. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present. Okay. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present, Mr. I am here. Okay. Melissa Abigail Fuentes. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. I am here. Okay. Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Noé Ezequiel. Teacher, present. Okay. Norma Lisset Crespin. Present teacher. Okay. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Oscar Alexander Domínguez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Reina Isabel Romero. Hi. Silvia Esther Rivera. Silvia. Okay, quick review. Andrea Isabel. Cecilio Antonio. Jennifer Nusset. Present teacher. Uh, Melissa Abigail. Present teacher. Okay. And Sylvia Stern. Okay. Okay, last class we finished talking about the, the use of will and be going to to talk about future. Okay, if you remember, we learned that we use be going to plus a verb to talk about plans you have decided on. Okay, so when you already have a plan, you have made a decision, we use be going to. I am going to, he is going to, we are going to, etc. And we use uh, will plus a verb with maybe, probably, I guess, or I think, to talk about possible plans 
before you have made a decision. Okay, possible plan. That's why we use maybe, probably, I guess, I think, because it's not something sure. All right? So that is the difference between be going to and will. So, said, said that, let's go to these questions here. Okay. Um, think about your next vacation. Okay, think about your next vacation. And let's talk about these questions. We have some questions here. One says, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Are you going to go anywhere? When are you going to take your vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? What are you going to do? Is anyone going to travel with you? Okay, think about these <laughs> questions, please. Uh, And I will give you, uh, what, 10 minutes to write a short paragraph about your next vacation using these questions. You can use these questions as a guide. Okay? And remember, if you have, if you already have plans, use be going to. If you don't have fixed plans, use will. Okay. For example, in my case, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Well, um, my next vacation. I'm going to go to uh, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. I'm going to take my vacation the first two weeks of December. From, the, from December the 2nd to December... 16 or so. Uh, so I'm going to be on vacation for two weeks. Uh, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to visit some friends in Nicaragua a couple of days. Um, I'm going to visit other friends in, in Costa Rica. And finally, I'm going to visit other friends in Panama. And I'm going to travel with uh, my wife. Uh, I don't know, we are going to, we are planning to go by bus to stop a couple of days in, in Managua, take another bus to Costa Rica, then take the last bus to uh, to Panama. And we are going to fly from Panama to El Salvador. Okay, so that's our plan. That's our plan. Uh, maybe I'll visit the um, the great big lakes, the lake in Manawa, and 
probably I'll uh, visit uh, San Jose downtown with my friend and I will I think I will go to the Panama Canal yeah with during my trip to Panama Okay, so that's me. So write about your vacation plans, please. You have 10 minutes to do it.
Okay, people, I hope you finish with the description of your vacation. So I will send you to working group for a couple of minutes to talk about your vacation with your classmates, okay? Okay, join the breakout rooms, please. Then talk about your vacation, your next vacation with your classmates. Go ahead.
Okay, people. Any volunteer to talk about his or her vacation, her next vacation? Any volunteer? One, two, three. No volunteers. Okay. So let's start with Claudia. Tell us about your next vacation. Okay. Well, I'm going to have my next vacation from December 24th to January 1st. But I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. I guess I guess I'll go to the beach with my family, maybe one or two days. And the rest of the week, I'll stay at home. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, Claudia, choose the next participant. Mm, Marys. Marys. Okay, it's not me, it's Claudia. <laughs> okay, Marys, tell us about your next vacation. Yeah, I'm very good. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Um, on my new vacation, I plan for I plan I plan good to good is visit or oh, is travel Mexico in January. Isn't the plan is um, visit a uh, city? City is um, Guanajuato. Mm, at uh, los um a love tacos tacos um, de the canasta canasta. ¿Cómo sería? Ah, uh, eso. Canasta. Ah. Basket. Uh -huh. No, tacos. ¿Tacos? De... Es que son famosos, eh? entonces mi plan es eso, como probar. Okay. Sí, es cierto. Ok. That's it. Ok. Good, Maris. Pass the ball, Maris. Ah. Uh, uh... Uh, um, me dice Miguel Antonio. Miguel. Okay. Uh, my favorite vacation is our uh, December because it, we gather together as a family because I go or to visit the country, the Central America, I can do several, several activi activities uh, with my family. Okay, pass the ball. Uh, Eugene. Okay, Eugene. Hey, but remember, people, the idea is to use we're going to, I'm going to, I will. Okay. Let's see, Eugene. Okay. Good evening for everybody. And in my, in my next vacation, could be in 2000. 24 April April and um, I'm going to visit Semuk Champagne waterfall in what in Guatemala I take uh um 
I going to take a travel tour. I'm going to take a travel tour in San Salvador. Uh, I'm going to do rappel, swim, and take a breath in different weather. For the moment, I'm going to will go, uh, no, I will go alone for a three days because my son don't wanna don't wanna don't wanna travel. Okay. Okay, very good. If you pay I can go with you, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eugene, who's next? Okay, the next one is the next one is Juan Antonio. Okay, Mr. Brand. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, in vacation, I have the only vacation in April and August. Five years each uh, occasion, uh, but I think uh, the same as I always do, uh, resting at home. Um, uh, and maybe uh, rest, uh, visit my family, and probably fix thing at home. Always, <laughs> I will go into my family and. Um, my family, my wife, and um, children. Okay. Good. Next one. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I'm looking for Diana Patricia. Okay, Diana. Okay. Um... For example, if you ask me, how are you going to spend your next vacation? I'm not sure. Maybe I will go to the gym and spend that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and are you going to go anywhere? Anywhere? No, no, no. Am I going to take my next vacation in December? Um, how long are you going to be on vacation? I'm going to be on vacation for one month. Um, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to clean my closet. I need to clean. <laughs> and it's anyone going to travel with you? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe my sister will travel with me and that is all okay okay Diana one more the next is Brenda okay Brenda I'm a shy <laughs> Okay, um, probably in the bis in, in vacations, I going to redecorating my house. But by the way, I think that that travel in the beach. I to take the, my vacation in in December for Christmas. I'm going to cooking with my son because it's the the things favorite my my son. Um, what are you doing to do? I think. Um, Enjoy my vacation to the fullest, doing all kinds of things. Um, I like the travel 
with all my family. That's it. Okay, very good. Okay, people, I know everyone wants to participate, but we don't have time. We need to take a look to the next topic here. Um, so let me share. Well, let me read this short conversation first. Hey, mom. I want to backpack around Europe this summer. What do you think? Backpack around Europe? That sounds dangerous. You shouldn't go by yourself. You ought to go with someone. Yes, I thought of that. And you'd better talk to your father first. I already did. He thinks it's a great idea. He wants to come with me. Okay, take a look to these sentences. You shouldn't go by yourself. You ought to, ought to go with someone. You'd better talk to your father first. Okay? So, we use this. These uh, forms are called modal for necessity or suggestion. We use modals like have, must, need, don't have, uh, have better, ought to, should, shouldn't. Those are modals. Some of them express necessity, describing necessity. We can use, you have to get a passport. It is necessary. You must get a visa for some country. You need to take money. You don't have to get any vaccination. Okay, so these are some structures we can use to express necessity or to express that something is not necessary, like you don't have to. Okay, now to give suggestions, to give suggestions, we can use you better. You'd better is the contraction for you have better. Okay, so this is have better. But contracted is you'd better. Or you ought to. Ought to. Ought to is like a synonym of should. You should, or you shouldn't, okay? So we can use these forms to express any suggestion. And if you notice, the main verb is in the base form. Well, let me show you another color. You have to get a passport. You must get a visa you need to take money you don't have to get any vaccination you better talk to your father you ought to go with someone you should stay warm clothes you shouldn't go by yourself Okay, so remember that modals are followed by a verb in the base form. Okay? Any question with these people? No? Great. So, we have here some situations. Um, let's see. Wow. 
that you have to complete uh, this statement using any of these forms. So you can use any of these forms, depending if you are making a suggestion or are describing a necessity, okay? For example, you must get a passport. That is not a suggestion, that is a necessity, okay? If you want to travel, you must get a passport, definitely, okay? Or number two, you shouldn't pack too many clothes. Okay, so continue with the other uh, 10 sentences, please, and complete them with any of the structures studied before. Put this in WhatsApp. So remember that you are giving advice to someone who is thinking of taking a vacation abroad. Abroad is out of the country. Okay, not in the country, but abroad, out of the country.
Okay, people. Before we finish, I would like to take a screenshot of the of the group. Would you please turn on your camera if you are there? Just for a moment, just to take a screenshot. Take a picture. Okay. Wait for... Ah, you can turn on your camera. Ah, you didn't do it. <laughs> okay, Alicia, Nelson, Norma, Noe, Jennifer, if you can. Just to have a memory of the, the group. Okay, okay, very good, very good. When I count to three, place a, okay, Noe, place a reaction. You can, you can place the heart, but when I tell you, because it goes quickly. So when I tell you, place the heart. Okay, ready? Place the heart in your reactions, okay? One, two, three. Put the heart. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. It's going to disappear. Ready? Screenshot now. Okay, okay, let's see if I get it correctly. Uh, where's my... Okay, hey, it's nice. Okay, I'll send it to, to the group. Nice. <laughs> okay, people, just to... It was a pleasure for me to be with you this module. Okay, we finished tonight. Uh, I hope you continue with the rest of the uh, course, okay? Don't quit. Okay. What's a pleasure, Mister? Okay. Thank you. I it really was, enjoyed it. Thank you, teacher. It was thank a big pleasure for everything, teacher. Okay. Thank you for your advice, teacher. Thank you. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Very much. Thanks.